building a landing page that converts. Your landing page is possibly one of the most important of your sales funnels pages. So we thought it would be about time to jump in and do a deep dive on how to build the perfect landing pages for your businesses. Landing page goal. Your landing page only has two goals, to maximize click-through rates and to improve your conversion rates. These two goals are achieved by motivating and adding value to your page. Therefore, when you build a landing page, it is essential to understand you are moving your visitors towards pleasure or away from pain. We can do this by providing value to our viewers. Now, this is a very simplified version, but it is something that you should always have in mind when moving forward in building your landing page. Niche Landing Pages No matter what kind of niche you are in, a landing page can serve you very well, if you are also adding a bot to the page, you can get even better results. But what is always true is that different niches require different landing pages. Hooks and Frames Hooks and frames will bring your landing page into the black as far as your bank balance is concerned, and then we can add on our positioning. As an example, let's say that we are in real estate. First, we need to know who it is that we will be marketing towards. Who is the target market? Are we targeting first-time buyers? Are we going for the high-end market? Or a retired couple? Target niche. Knowing which niche we are going after makes creating our landing pages so much easier because we can start pretty broad. If you have a target niche, then you can begin to create different offers for that niche. Now, this isn't the time to jump into your funnel builder yet. But, unfortunately, this is where so many people go wrong with their sales funnels. They believe that just because Groove, ClickFunnels, and lead pages have given templates that they can jump straight in and use these templates for instant success. Don't fall into this trap. In the beginning, you want to test different offers to see which floats, but before you get into your funnel builder, open up a Google document and choose your target market. Once you have chosen the target market, it is time to work on your hook, frame, positioning, and offer. Only then should you start writing out the framework of your sales copy. Sales copy. Remember copywriting is a hugely skilled job and takes a lot of time to learn. Unfortunately, I am a terrible copywriter, so I tend to use the Jarvis software. The first thing you need to know is your prospect. What problems are they trying to solve? What solutions are they looking for? Have they already tried other solutions? The diet industry is a massive user of pain points and uses what people have tried and failed before. You can see it in so many of their headlines. Like, fed up with fad diets that don't work. Your Google Sheet should be starting to fill up with the exact targeted market that you want to help, their pain points, and are they becoming jaded. Can you help with these pain points? From here, we can start to brainstorm your hooks. Your Sales Funnel Hook Consider what some of the greats have already used when looking for a hook within your sales funnel. Russell Brunson has many, but one that comes to mind is the One Funnel Away Challenge. Mike Filsheim has Butterfly Marketing. And these are the kind of examples that you will see often. You are trying to gain their curiosity. In the movie Django Unchained, DiCaprio's quote goes something like, You had my curiosity, but now you have my attention. Your hook is designed to get their curiosity. So what is One Funnel Away Challenge about? What are you one funnel away from? These names are intended only to make you more curious and to get that click. What hook could you come up with that is a catchy name that will get the click? The frame. The frame follows on from the hook and is the story behind the hook. Such as. Let me tell you a story. Let me put it to you this way. And so on. Steve Larson does this perfectly in a story he uses inside the One Funnel Away Challenge while showing why stories are so important. Steve builds a picture of him struggling to make money when he sees a wealthy man who asks what the secret of his success is. The rich man tells him it is all contained in this one book that changed his life. I won't spoil the end for you as Steve Larson uses this story a lot, and it is delivered very well indeed. Russell Brunson also does something very similar when showing framing by using his mobile phone as an example. Firstly he will ask how much is this mobile phone worth to you? So at the time, the phone itself was worth around the $1,000 mark. Next, 
he adds the phone numbers in his phone. Some of the most prominent marketers in the world then will ask again how much now. He then will add that he has designed all of his most successful funnels on the phone and still has the complete breakdown. And again, he will ask how much now? He will keep doing this until quite rightly you would happily pay $10,000 for that very same $1,000 phone. The framing can make a massive difference to your offer and tell your visitor the importance of your offer. The offer without the myths, next we need to look at how we will use the story to give as many positives as possible, but without going into the negatives. If you look closely enough, it is almost impossible not to find a negative somewhere in an offer. As an example, let's look at network marketing. Before I continue, I have nothing against network marketing, but it isn't my chosen means of making money. Now, suppose somebody is pitching their network marketing opportunity or multi-level marketing to you, as some prefer to call it. In that case, they have a massive elephant in the room. Many people believe that network marketing is a pyramid scheme. As soon as somebody comes to you and tells you they have an excellent business opportunity where you can get in on the ground level. Well, my spidey senses are on full alert, some of the words they have used have shocked me, and I don't want to hear anything more about their opportunity. They have turned me off the idea long before they have had the chance to tell me about the opportunity. But it isn't just network marketing. This goes across everything, so let's take a new training course that I have built. This training course is a brain dump of many different things that I have learned, tried, and had success with among the various digital opportunities. It covers chatbots, funnels building, building an agency, and so much more. Imagine if I go to market with this membership, it simply wouldn't work, as there is no niche that I can tie it to. So instead, I am currently building several landing pages for each niche and then tightening that niche down further and getting a good hook in there. So let's say it is for digital agencies. I would want to separate the offer to make one offer where I would call it the SMMA Agency Accelerator. But that would only really attract the more established SMA agency owners. So I could make another landing page called something like the SMMA Agency Fast Start and Scale. Both of these two separate funnels would increase the curiosity of our viewers. Then I could dive into the framing. We need to have their interest first so that they will listen to what we have to say. I need to have my hook not scare people. Think of network marketing. Rather than scare people, I need them to understand my offer fully. This is why I would have two different landing pages. If a newbie sees my first headline of Agency Accelerator, this could easily scare them away. They could leave thinking that my offer has nothing for them as they need to be established to get the full benefit. By changing the name and making a new landing page, we show them what will prick their interest. You want all of your offers niched down so that you are supplying exactly what your viewer is wanting, notice the word wanting rather than needing, people don't buy what they need. They buy what they want, with help from your landing pages. Know your audience. Before writing your copy, it is essential to know your audience. If you are in a space like Dieting, Avon, Builderall, and several others, they may well be a jaded customer. Therefore, before you even try to sell, they must buy into your concept first. Think of your hook name and make it clickable with a name and a great hook. So for a YouTube ads course, you could say something like, what if I can show you how you can get paid before spending money on your ads? If you have your correct landing pages in place, you can track exactly which ads are performing and which crowds you are drawing in. So by making several landing pages for the same product but different targeting, we could set up a webinar for each. We would know each of their pain points, and we would see the sophistication within the market. Dispel Myths Another hugely important thing to do when creating your landing page is to know what myths might be surrounding your niche. So if we were trying to get people into local digital marketing, they might well think that they need to be local to their target area. Which, of course, is a myth. You can target any area and niche anywhere in the world. The only thing that your prospect is thinking about is. What's in it for me? This was our most significant thought when bringing Chatamo to market. We took a step back and thought of the user. We wanted to dispel all of the myths surrounding chatbots and offer the solutions that other chatbots can't, giving our users a complete marketing suite. But we could do more to exploit what's in it for my mindset. We know that we need to write a clear, 
concise, and straightforward message for the customer to understand. Ask yourself the following questions from the point of view of your ideal avatar. Why should I care? What's in it for me? What do you have for me? What will it do for me? What do I do next? Mark all of these answers down with around 5 answers each. Headlines Your headlines have massive importance and should be the next thing that you move on to. If you are reading this, you will already know that I quite like to buck the general trends. And this is never so important as headlines. So in your headlines, I would urge you to do the same as me and do a little known headline trick. Called Tell the Truth Yes, this really can be groundbreaking and maybe even a little scary to you. But by simply telling the truth, you will find a much longer and prosperous career in front of you. No matter what you are trying to sell, nothing sells better than the truth. Next, you want to be specific with your wording. You need to be building a picture in the minds of your prospects. If your vocabulary can be given in solid words, then use them. Always focus on the benefits or results your users are looking for and not the features. Focus on how they can avoid more pain and get more pleasure, and use high emotive words. Think of the difference between car and porch. Mansion and house. If you have specific numbers, then always make sure to use them. Use power words such as. You can search Google for power words. A headline formula that is always an excellent go-to is. How to. Great result without. The pain. Fill in the blanks on this one. Everybody wants the results without having to work for them. So using the above, we could write a headline of. How to lose 20 pounds of fat in 30 days, without giving up chocolate or increasing your exercise. This has a great solution and keeps you away from the pain. BTW I am not suggesting running that headline as you should check all of these with the FTC. As they would want proof of your claims. Now, of course, there are ways around it, so as an example, I would probably be okay saying. I'm going to show you what I used to shed 20 pounds of fat in 30 days without giving up my favorite foods. But again each ads platform have their own rules so always read them carefully. And that's not even mentioning your Stripe and PayPal accounts. Now we could keep on going with headline formulas for your landing page. However, rather than spend the next three days thinking of the perfect headline, head over to Jarvis with this code and get free credits. It takes Jarvis about 60 seconds to come up with all the headlines you will need. All that you have already put within your Google Sheet will help you come up with the perfect headlines, so make sure not to skip it. However, if you completed that work, you now know the pain points. Another headline that always works when dealing with tech is secret. People love to find a secret, and if you can show somebody a secret, a hack, trick, or system, your visitors will want to know it. Things to remember. The hook grabs them, the frame is the story of the hook, and your headlines make a promise. When developing your headlines, take the time to get your capture page to convert at 50 to 70%. Then, Rather than the 20% many landing pages have, you will know it is worth the time. And improve your bottom line hugely, which, after all, is what we all want. Higher conversions When looking for higher conversions, it is essential to increase the motivation of your prospects. Therefore, when you are writing, you copy pictures on your landing page. When we have the prospects on your page, you must consider how your design will work with your copy. We need to focus on the problem, agitate and solve. Please think of the problem like an open cut, and by agitating it, we are adding salt and pouring it on so that our prospect sees how much it hurts. If you have ever seen some of the late night infomercials, many of them do this perfectly. Some of them even agitate by filming the problem in black and white. They are that shameless. Now we may not have to go quite as hard as that, or maybe we do it is very dependent on how you like to do your marketing but you must agitate. For example, if I was building a funnel for Chatamo, I may well say, are you tired of paying thousands a month on software that is not working for you? Have you had to hire a developer and pay them thousands simply because you want to change the world? If this sounds like you, give me 27 minutes, and I will show you this really good thing, without the really bad thing, and all without breaking the bank. 
we will save you 90% of your software spend and have everything you need all in one platform. That will double your leads. All that kind of stuff. And because we have already done our research, we know what the problems are, we know if they are male, their age, what they do, and where they hand out so that we can target our ads straight to them if we are running ads. Then the design of your landing page and sales copy speaks directly to them. Now, if you think you don't want to do that, think again. This is the difference between making some money online and making a killing online. It really is that simple. Put your words on a page and let them do their job, and if you are confident enough, get onto video. You could even hire somebody to do the video for you. Remember, we aren't just throwing up a landing page. This is your very own funnel that we are going to use to make money. Now we can move on to our clear value proposition, which isn't a headline but rather an attention-grabbing hook. Overcome objections in your copy, and only use one call to action. By having multiple calls to action, you are distracting your visitor from what you want them to do, buy whatever you are selling. Make sure that you have also solved the problem some users have with buying on the internet. Finally, make sure that your site is secure. Never run a site on the dated HTTP but rather HTTPS, which will help your customers feel more at ease. Suppose you are offering a money-back guarantee, which is always a good idea. Make sure that you state it. Any opt-in forms point out that you respect their privacy, and we never share your information. This helps reduce friction points that might creep into your prospects' minds when the time comes to buy. Your sales copy should be a story and every subheading through your page should have a connection to the previous heading. So rather than them landing on your sales page and saying Chatamo is great, you need to lead them through your story copy and heading through the benefits of Chatamo. Social proof is also an important aspect, which again Groove offers. Branding when first starting off can be important, so use your branding colors and typeface throughout. Also, have your first call to action button above the fold. When you have built your funnel, Always check that it is a good user experience across mobile, tablets, desktops. This means you shouldn't get a drop off as people view your offer on their different technology. Exit pop up. Having an exit pop up, a simple wait don't leave empty handed, works very well. We don't want to lose this prospect altogether. Instead, we can send them back into our chatbot, ready to keep targeting and building our list simultaneously. Create a thumbnail showing what they will get if they click the pop-up. Make sure you have a strong incentive for them to click. The biggest mistakes when building a landing page. The worst thing you can do is take one of the ready-made templates from ClickFunnels, lead pages, or anywhere else. This will make your landing pages fail. The biggest advantage that I have found with Groove is I can produce unlimited funnels so I can test and test again, and I have a record of all test results. Track and test. Always make sure that you track your sales. After all, that is your goal, and if you aren't able to track it, you will find it impossible to improve. So we will track everything about our B equals page because this is the information to drive sales up. Now I will be talking about running ads to your page as doing this organically can take a long time. I would rather be making money upfront than testing with no results, as that seems like a waste of time. So firstly, I will start with two identical pages so that I will have the same of everything on there, headline CTA, copywriting everything. And the first thing I'm going to test is the color of the site. So, for example, I may well run one site with a white background and another with blue. And I am going to split the traffic between the two using the same target audience. So at this stage, I am not looking for a winner, I am looking for a loser. These are tests I would typically run for around 4 days as I am not very patient. While these ads were running, I would look at my competitors and see any other colors I missed. If there are, then after 4 days, I will go in and kill my worst performing ad and start again, putting a new color up against the winner. Now, this sounds time consuming, but remember all of this time. You are still making sales. In effect, you are getting paid to test which is an excellent position to be in. Next, I would look at my headlines. Looking for another looser duplicating the ad and again running traffic to the two different headlines, but remember everything else will start the same. I am still making sales, 
but now we know which color our viewers like more, so our click-through rate is also improving all of the time. We are still making sales and getting all of the information that we need. Next, we would look at the images or video on your landing page and which works the best. So now we are beginning to nail down our highest performing landing page. And these are things that will swing the needle the most and get the most bang for your buck. Next will be the hook, then the frame, and then the offer. You can be continuing to test all of which once you get to a situation where you believe everything else is optimized. Finally, you can start on the smaller items such as button color, etc. These will make much more minor improvements to your sales than the more significant elements above.